Did you hear William Nylander last night after the game, by the way? William Nylander. William Nylander. I know it's not like the, the, the guy you wanted to hear from the most following that no, game No, I didn't last hear night. from William Nylander last so night. So there was two ways that I, I noticed people took last night's game, at least in the Leafs dressing room. Guys were pissed. Mm-hmm. But if you guys focused on, well, you know, you played a good 50 minutes. And this is what Willie Nylander said when he was basically asked, was he angry with how it ended? No, it's fine. I mean, we take what we did well from this game and move on. There's nothing about uh, being upset about this. Nothing about being upset about this. Can we run that clip back one more time, please? William Nylander. No, it's fine. I mean, we take what we did well from this game and move on. There's nothing about uh, being upset about this. What the hell is wrong with him? What What is wrong with him? Wait. There's nothing about being upset about this? You just blew a, a two-goal third-period lead to a team that is neck and neck with you for the final playoff spot in your division? And you're going to hang your hat on the fact you scored a goal and we're good? That's the William Nylander that you're paying nearly $7 million a year for? That dressing room, the attitude in that room needs an enema. There, there is something going on in that room that isn't that needs to be cleansed. Yes, you heard me right, McAuliffe. Okay. It needs to be cleansed over a period of minutes. With what? Like the Kes- like the Kasperi captains of the world who have no problem going down to Augusta National during All Star break, and I guarantee you he showed up on time for his tea times. You can't make practice. Sorry. Give me a little something. Needs an enema because you got William Nylander here, and I know the Nylander fans are going to come at me hard. Yes, I acknowledge he is the greatest player I've ever seen who's never averaged 20 minutes a game or averaged a point per game in his career. Yes, you got me. But you got him after a game last night, the worst loss of the season. Not even close. Nothing to be mad about. We'll take, we'll take the 50 minutes that we played well. I scored. What do I care? Puts more effort into an Instagram post from Europe than he did in that game last night at times. Okay, but you think that this he- attitude needs to change. The attitude that four guys can go golfing during an all-star break for the Leafs when it's the most hilarious joke in Leafs history about the playoffs. Zero wherewithal. Zero. So what do you want? Zero to- self-awareness. You want them to mourn while they're on. This a- team has a problem, what and it's an like- attitude problem. They have talent. But they have a severe attitude problem when it comes to the way the fan base looks at that group. Nothing to be upset about? What is wrong with this kid? Nothing to be upset about? This, that, that, that's madness. Can we play it again? Yes. I would like to hear it one more time because I, I do believe that parsing the words of what? A 24-year-old I man? I took the words exactly the way they should have been taken. <laughs> okay, let me hear it one more well, time. Let's hear it again and prove me right. Because sometimes... Go ahead. No, it's fine. I mean, we take what we did well from this game and move on. There's nothing about uh, being upset about this. Okay. Yeah, it's a preseason game in September. Do, do you let's not, take the first, let's do take, you let's not take think that most minutes. of them just say what you think they should say? No, we're not mad. We're just going to take what we did well and move on. John Tavares did not say that last night. No, Sheldon Keefe kind of said that last night. But no, uh, that's not, not what I'm asking you. What, 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 what I'm asking you is... Do you think that William Nylander really put a th- lot of thought into that and what he should say at the end of a game? I don't think William Nylander or, puts a lot of thought into anything. Or he just said what he thought that people wanted to hear, which was we're not going to be – like instead of, oh, we're really downtrodden, this, this, this loss hurts, and losing Freddie Anderson means that we're up Bleep's Creek. And I'm not sure if I can say the Bleep's Creek because there's a show on TV that – who cares? Emmy award-winning show, by the way. Like do you want him to do that? Or would you rip him for doing that, uh, no, too? No, I wouldn't rip him for doing that. You wouldn't rip him for coming out he's, and saying, he's, man, we're up Bleep's Creek. This is really bad loss. And good show again. I yeah. just want to... Sorry, I hit two buttons at the same time. Yeah, and, Shout they, out Eugene and they mean two completely different, different things. Th- different things. This, the tone of it is an October game, man. You just lost your goalie? You just blew a lead? You're no longer in a playoff spot? Nothing to get upset about? Let's take the good 50 minutes and move on? What is this, the AHL? Uh, so Get a grip, man. Your fan base, they're, they're feasting on their guts after that last night. That's the attitude and fire in the Leafs' room? The passion that unites us all, eh? 
That's all right. Far, get on the third hole at Augusta. Let me know how you do. Give me a break.